Hi, my name is Guy Press Street Food, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, thriftweed, thriftwood, guy brush, thriftwood. I see. So you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a Florida inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. Um, what did you say the pirate leaders were? The scum bar. Right. Thanks. Part 1. The Three Trials Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my second Let's Play. My name is Siboros, and this is The Secret of Monkey Island, both published and de developed by Lucasfilm Games, or LucasArts as they are known today, in 1990 to old home computers such as Amiga, Atari, and Microsoft DOS computers, and was r later released on CD-ROM in 1992, which is the version I am using uh, right now, since I happen to have this, uh, the Monkey Island uh, bounty pack that includes this game, the second game, uh, Lichuk's Revenge, and the third game, The Curse of Monkey Island. Now, normally, game, normally these old scum engine games would not work uh, in modern systems nowadays, However, there is one good way to make them work, and that's and that's called Scum VM program. So what this program allows you to do is ba is basically run these old Scum engine games, like as you can see see right now. This game will run su just perfect perfectly. I'm using the CD directly, which may not exactly be the brightest idea, perhaps, but yeah, I'm just I'm doing it that this way for now. If you happen to have a Scum engine game. And, and you want and you want to play it your, play it yourself, then go and download this uh, program. Then I I'll, I'll provide I'll provide you the link to this program's website in, in, to the to the description below, so you can go and download it for for free there. Now, is there anything else I would like to add before we start? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm very well aware that there is a special edition of this and the second game as well, but I decided to go with the original because. Well, I simply don't like the uh, the art style and art style of the of the special edition, and the animation is late is also rather poor to say the to say the least. And I also know that you, I, however, I also do know that you can play the game with the original graphics like this. But then again, if I got the original game and I can play it just fine, then why bother to buy the special edition? The only thing I really like about the special edition is the voice acting. So, so obviously this game doesn't have any voice act, voice acting, so, so I have to pretty much read ev read everything and try to do vo some sort of voice voice acting. But I can't guarantee the quality. Now I think that's pretty much it for now. Yeah, let's start the game. And for starters, as you can see, there are, this is, as you can see, this is a rather old school point and click adventure game, and so there are nine different commands here. Which may be confusing sometimes that that which co command you should use on what, like for example, if you want to open a door, then do you use well use push the door open or pull the door open or just well open the door? Well, in this case, it's open the open the door quite obviously, so maybe not the best example, uh, but you get the idea. It can be rather confusing sometimes. But now let's look at this poster. Re-elect governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Well, I can well I can't disagree with that logic, there, Guybrush. Now, what do we have here? The scum part. <laughs> yeah, I like I love the little uh, smiley face in the in the middle in the sign. That's cute. But now, open the door. Well, damn, this pirate sure know how to party, especially this guy over there. I feel a, I feel a bit sad for the chandelier though. Let's hope that he doesn't drop down, fall down, or drop down. Now, 
on also one thing that I m forgot to mention there earlier that that uh, that this is not applying to let's play. I know this game rather well, and I have even seen some let's other let's plays of this game, most of the special edition uh, uh, before. So yeah, I know some of the puzzles and what to do, but I'm not an expert, so I may get stuck stuck somewhere while not remembering what I had to do that uh, do here. But yeah, but first let's talk to this pirate over here. Ahoy there, stranger! New in town? Hmm. Well, let's, let's, let's start by introducing ourselves. My name's Guyprus Streepwood. I'm new in town. Guyprus Streepwood? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Well, I don't know. I kind of like Guyprus. But it's not even a real name. But it's not even a name. Rather, yeah, I try to read this uh, this text as fast as I can before they disappear. So I, so I apologize in advance if I make uh, some small mistakes here and there. Well, what's your name? My name is Manakamp Seepgood. So what brings you to the Monkey Island, anyway, TM? I want to be a pirate. Oh, really? You should go talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. They are pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. Hmm, I don't even know what this is an option here, but let's ask anyway. Where can I find the governor? Governor Marley? Her mansion is on the other side of town. But pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. Why not? Well, the last time he, she had a pirate over for dinner, he fell in love with her. It's made things rather uncomfortable for everybody. Oh, the music stopped. Huh. How's that? Well, there is a whole big story about what happened next. But I don't believe a word of it. Esteban over there at the other table might tell you about it. He takes the whole thing very, the whole thing very seriously. Very seriously. There we go. Uh oh, it looks like my croc is going flat, so you'll have to excuse me. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island, trademark. Well, for a pirate, he sure was unusually polite. You would think that pirates are usually more rude and, well, intimidated. So, he talked about this, was it Esteban? He wanted, wanted us to talk to? Hmm. What's it? Him? I don't think it's wise to wake up wake a sleep, sleeping pirate. I kind of agree with that guy, Bruce. It's like trying to wake up a sleeping lion. Not exactly a good idea. Can we? We can't talk to him, I guess. No. Mm, is it this guy? What are you looking at me for? I would like to introduce myself. My name's Guy Brush. Yeah. So what? Who's this pirate that's bucking the governor? LeJuck! He's the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. He fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did. Then things really got ugly. Hmm. How did things... How did, how did the things get ugly? How did he... Talk? Uh, let's ask this. What's so scary about this LeChuck guy? LeChuck was a fearsome pirate. He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island, TM. But a mysterious storm came up and sank his ship, leaving no survivors. We thought that was the end of the fearsome pirate LeChuck. We were wrong! Dun, dun, dun. So, what happened then? He still sails the waters between here and Monkey Island. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. That's why we are all in here and not out pirating. You are pants of you. You pirates here are just pants of pussies. You know that. Oh well. Mm. Excuse me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. I don't even know what why that why that's even an option, but whatever. Where can I get a drink? What happened to your eye? 
Wait, yeah, let's ask him. Let's ask him that. I'm really curious. What happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens when. Hey, wait a second. That's none of your business. <laughs> so, so I guess, so I guess he, he, so I guess he didn't get that wound. And is that a class eye? I don't know. So I guess he he didn't get that wound in a glorious fight or whatever. Hmm. All right. Excuse me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. Dartboard. We don't have one anymore. There was a horrible accident. Drinking and darts don't mix. Yeah, I'm quite sure. Just like drinking and driving don't mix. Where can I get a drink? A drink? You could wait for the cook to notice you. But that could take all day. Just find a muck and sneak into the kitchen. That's what we all do. Look, this whole chuck thing has made me pretty shaken up. So if you don't mind. So all of these guys here sneaks into the kitchen to grab a to grab a drink one by one. Great service here. <laughs> That's actually kind of hilarious thought if you think about it. And I also know that there's this other some a third guy you can talk to. This guy. Oi. Oi yourself. Oi. Nice hat. Oi. Well, guess we are going to ask about Loom. So, tell me about Loom. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm and Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects. Elegant point-and-click point, control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Bet beat the rush. Go and buy, go out and buy Loom TM today. <laughs> yeah, th this is this is an obvious sales pitch to the other point-and-click adventure game called Loom. So yeah, I don't know much about that game. Jeez, what an obvious sales pitch. Sorry, but on some topics I just get carried away. Nice talking to you. Oi. Yeah, this game it, this game is rather self 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 aware and it's not something you should take very seriously as we just saw there. Hmm. Look at the talk. Well, I guess we can talk to it too. Ruff. Ruff a roof arf. Woof woof arf woof. A roof island. Arf, woof, lechuk. Woof, lechuk. Woof, 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 Yeah, I think we got the point, dog. Now I do have some hazy memories of playing this game when I was um, a much young, younger, but I never really got very far. I don't think, actually, I don't think I ever even got off Mele Island, which is the island where we are right now. And uh, and my limited English language skills didn't really help me either. Now here are the three important looking important looking pirates we must talk to. What's ever you wanting, boy? <laughs> I'm here to kill you all. Well, let's let let's give a good good impression and say this. I mean to kill you all. Get lost, boy! You bother us. Well, I well I guess they're not very intimidated by Guy Press Stripwood, and to be honest, I can't really blame them. Oh, the cook. What's ever you wanting, boy? Well, let's tell the truth. I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we are short on help because of this whole chuck thing. So? So, no pirate means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we are getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. That's quite impressive, actually. 
Well, all right, but you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through the three trials. Hey, that's the chapter title. Um, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword, and the art of thievery, and the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, yes, sea urchin. Right. You must prove yourself in all of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and uh, treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you have done it. And then you must drink crock with us. Crock, 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 crock. They should have must love crock. So I guess I, we, we want to know more about these trials that we are going to face. Tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get your sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Oh, you'll want to find someone to train you first. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on the Swordmaster without any training. Har 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 har. Alright, tell me more about mastering the art of thievery. We want you to procure a small item for us. The Idol of Many Hands. In the Governor's Mansion. The Governor keeps the Idol of Many Hands in a display case in the mansion outside of town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. They are a particularly vicious breed. You might be able to track them or something. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Tell me more about treasure hunting. Legend has it that there is a treasure buried here on the, on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Mele Island and bring it back here. Should I have a map or something? You can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot. Har 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 har. <laughs> you are a bunch of foul-smelling crocs, willing pigs. Yeah, let's say that. You are a bunch of foul-smelling crocs, willing pigs. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul-smelling crocs, willing pig. Well, fair enough. What's in the croc stuff anyway? Ah, oh, the music started again. Croc is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic volatile substances known to man. The stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. Har 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 har! Did they just did they just describe the alien? The xenomorphs' is blood? Is that what they're drinking? Ugh. Well, that, that would explain why it goes through the mug and everything. Why it doesn't throw good teeth? Why does why why it doesn't go through these guys' stomachs? I don't know. They must be stomachs of iron. I guess that I guess that's what you must have in order to be a pirate. Then. I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our croc. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. All right. And I'm, now, oh god, damn it, the cook is coming back. Because we need to go into that kitchen. But if we go like this, hey, you can't come back here. Yeah, we have to wait till he leaves. Yeah, I really love point-and-click adventure games. Even if I don't play them very often. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey! Don't go into the kitchen! Actually, I do. Screw you. So, like I was saying, I love point-and-click adventure games, and I was actually pondering for quite a while if I should make this channel a point-and-click adventure heavy, and I focus on, le on them only, or at least for the most part. But for now, I decided not to, and, well, I just play the games that I want to play and I'm, and, and I'm interested in, and we'll see where it goes from that. But, yeah.
Let's look at this barrel. That, that must be the Xenomorph's blood. I think it's full of that foul stuff pirate string. Yep, I knew it. Look, it's green and everything, so it must be Xenomorph's blood. And... Look at the hunk of meat. It's some sort of meat or meat-like substance. Well, let's pick it up. There we go. And I do know that we have to pick up this pot as here as well. And you, are, and you are soon going to find out why. Uh, look at the pot of stew. It's boiling hot. Yeah, it looks like it. You can't pick it up, I take it. It's boiling hot. Yeah, I thought so. But we need this fish over there. Ah, a seagull is trying to eat it. Well, you know what? Screw you. We are gonna take it. I think that bird will peck my hand off. <sighs> Guy Brush, you want to be a pirate, and you are afraid of, a, of you are, and you are afraid of one simple seagull. <sighs> well, it's your career of choice. Now, how how are we gonna get the fish? Well, it's quite simple. We just bounce the bird off. All right, pick it up. Haha. <laughs> The art of thievery completed. I wish. It's not really that simple. All right. Now there's nothing we really need. there's new nothing we need uh, in this tavern or inn anymore, or anyone else to talk to. So might go outside. Oh. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck's ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain Lichuk, sir, I... Ah, there is nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir, nothing like it. Ah, uh, sir, I... It stays like this that makes you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir, glad to be dead. You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I feel so lucky that you happened to capture me, my ship, they murdered me and everyone on board. Yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it? What was it you disturbed me for? Ah, yes, sir. Well, you see, we have, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I have got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they are even afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young. Inexperienced? Well, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bothered you with it. I'll have him taken care of myself. Wait. I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. Well, goddamn, we haven't even done anything in, in this game, game yet, and we, ha and we already have pirate... Ghost Pirate LeChuck himself to come after our asses. Oh boy, this escalated fast. And qu this escalated fast. But I think I'm gonna end the episode here, and we'll continue next. We continue ne next time. So thank you for watching, and see you next time.